with this kind of approach, um, I suppose you have to also be quite gear conscious because you know so, your symbols have to match. Exactly. The, I mean, not get you know cover the guitar exactly. or whatever. You yeah, know. well spotted. So you must have been yeah. actually. You yeah. must have spent some time. Yeah, we did. The yeah, gear. yeah. I love the symbols I use at the moment. The UFIP yeah. from Italy because not many people use them. In fact, I travelled to the factory in Italy to choose them and uh, they're really awesome. It's a very small place, but uh, really cool symbols and I love them because the symbols I had before, I had uh, Zildjian's and I loved them too, but they took up so much of the sound and it took me ages to find these UFIPs uh, and I've been playing them for a good few years now, but oh, yeah. they don't eat the sound, they just fit in. And they're, they're short, but they just cut just right. They're they're perfect, so I'm really pleased yeah, with them. Exactly. And sound. DW drums are just perfect. Too. It's DW oh drums. man, yeah, yeah. that's yeah. a sound. <laughs> yeah, I mean sound. we've worked a lot with the band, making sure everybody sounds fit together, so we can you know stick it all, right. layer it, and yeah, yeah. yeah. You've actually you, you mentioned it at the clinic. Uh, you don't always use a DW snare. That's quite no, I a don't. Personal thing. Yeah, I love Gretsch snare drums. Yeah. I have two. I have a steel hand hammered one, which is awesome, and um, a vintage Gretsch, which I don't use so much, but it's, it's awesome too. It's this copper over brass. It's cool. I don't know. I, I love DW, but for me, their snares don't have as much balls as Gretsch. Gretsch right. are just like I don't know. They're mm. awesome. <laughs> yeah. Right, what about the skins? Uh, well, at the moment, I'm just using Evans. I used to use clear G2s on top and G1s underneath and then we, we recorded Majestic, the last album, and I used coated heads and since then I've been using coated heads. I think they're G1s on top and on, underneath and uh, I love them. <laughs> yeah, I love I love Evans. I mean today I had Rumo and they're good but I find Evans have more harmon harmonics and notes I think. Same with the snare? Do yeah, yeah, I use, uh, what do I use? Uh, it's got a power, power dot. Yeah, right. it's cool. <laughs> okay, yeah. And sticks? Sticks at the moment, I'm using Vic First. I used to endorse a French company, but they unfortunately stopped recently. So I'm looking for some, something new, but at the moment, yeah, Vic First. Are, they're great. Vic First are just, you know, you can trust them. They're really good sticks. <laughs> yeah.
man. He seems to be quite an important figure in the band's career. Yeah, well, how did we meet Terry? I mean, the first drum clinic I did, we played... It's a long story. Yeah, it is. I mean, I'd met this guy, this drummer who'd come to see us at a show a long time ago. And he, he really loved the band and he invited me to do this drum clinic. So I was like, oh my God, you know, but I said yes. <laughs> and I went and it was with Carmine Apice. So we met Carmine Apice. He's awesome. He's become a really good friend. We're signed to his record label in, in yeah, the US. So really we played, I played two clinics with Carmine. And this same guy who got me to do the clinics with Carmine invited Terry Bozio many years later to come and perform one of his amazing shows in this beautiful theatre in France, yeah. this old, oh, it's an amazing place. Kind of Italian theatre yeah. type. Yeah. Oh, really so, yeah, and he invited he us to open. This forest of this. Oh, this yeah, it took them four hours, <laughs> it was insane. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, and we got to watch him sound check, it was incredible. Right. So, he so invited, we, invited us, invited we, us to we play, opened yeah. for Terry with the band. Uh, so we got to meet him and his wife, uh, Mayumi, who's Japanese, she's amazing. And uh, he loved the band. And uh, it was quite, it was great opening for him, it was a challenge, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it was really cool, so we got to meet him and he, he's exactly how I wished he would be, because when I was a kid, my dad um, used to be, and still is a big fan of Frank Zappa, yeah. and we used to have this ritual of listening to vinyls, and we'd listen to Zappa, and I was like really little, and uh, yeah, you know, Terry Bozio, and my dad was always like, look, you know, it's Terry Bozio, and, oh, so when, when I finally got to meet him, I thought, well, you know, what's he going to be like? Is he going to be like a rock star and not speak to us, or is he going to be, you know, really cool? And he was so cool, he's so humble, he's so calm and zen, and, and he was just so nice. So we got on really well, and then uh, when we went to, we've been to Los Angeles quite a few times now, we went back recently to visit uh, DW Drum Factory, which was amazing. And uh, we met Terry again, who was doing a clinic in Los Angeles. So uh, we got to meet up with him and his wife again, and it was, it was fabulous. He's a really nice guy, mm -hmm. really, yeah. really nice. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so with this new album that you're making, or going to start to make? Oh, we, we started already. Okay, yeah. yeah. So where are you going to take your music? To record. This time? No, uh, no. Uh, take, artistically. Oh, are we artistic yeah, artistic ah, well, all of our albums are different. Maybe I should let yeah. him talk a bit, <laughs> say something. Yeah. Well, yeah, all, it's that, dark. that's what she's saying. I mean, each album has got a very different uh, regard on some things, really. I mean, the first album was really kind of punchy, kind of metal ish, yeah. proggy, metal ish. So that's, that was our, I don't know, our kind of nice side to the things. Majestic is the total opposite. Everything More is efficient. Naive. Yeah, everything is very efficient. Raw, recorded on straight to live, live and everything. Yeah, yeah. The next album is gonna, probably is going to be a mix of both yeah. with a twist. It, it sounds like more. I won't say complicated because it's not what we're looking for, but more it's intricate. More contrasted. Yeah, lots of contrast and intricate, Maybe meaning that you never know what's going to happen. I mean, there's no. There's no call it's on like, okay, hopefully. there's the chorus, or, oh, this is gonna, no way it's gonna go this way. So it's gonna be twisted. And yet, we try this, having this kind of beautiful and ugly thing going on all the time. So yeah. if the music goes ugly, we'll try to put the singing beautiful in a way. Or if the, the singing is shouting, the music is gonna be really, really, this kind of games. So I think it's gonna be surprising, definitely. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, off camera, we talked about vinyl. Yeah, is this new album going to be out on vinyl too? It will. Oh, we hope so, we hope uh, it so, will, yeah. It will, definitely. I mean, Majestic is, gonna, is possible for Majestic to be on vinyl, but from the US edition. We can't have it on, on Europe yet. But the next one, it will, definitely. Uh, okay, good. So, yeah. I'll send you one. I okay, yeah. <laughs> good. And I'm going to listen to a rib. Yeah, a rib! Good one. Exactly. So, what about your uh, concert plans or touring plans? Uh, are there any? Is there anything specific in the making? Or there is. Well, there is. There are plans. I mean, we need we, to release the album. First. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah we'll, we'll, but after the release, I mean, China is is on the way because we, we we might we might go at the end of December now. But I think it's going to be a bit short. So China is going to be there. US is there too, and Europe again. So, for, so when the album is out, we've got already a yeah, festival. So. So we've got basically a whole year already booked right. for what's going to do live and, and hopefully we might just hit for a second year. Okay. 
Okay. Which would be great for us. Yeah. So best of luck with all your plans. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, man. Thanks very much for your time. <laughs> Thank, Thank you for your time. Yeah. Until next time. Until yeah. next time. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Okay. No